Hey, welcome back. So in the last video, we created our post routes, and in this video, we're going to create our routes for reviews. So first thing we're going to do, and something I forgot to do in the last video, bad Ian, uh, is we need to go ahead and commit with git. So if you remember from one of the earlier videos, I initialized git, I added everything, and I committed it. So if I do a git status, you can see that we have modified app.js and we've modified our index.js uh, routes file and we've also have we also have an untracked file routes post so we need to add those uh, if you ever want to see what the code is that was modified just do a little git diff command and you can scroll through this and you can see the stuff that was taken away the stuff that was added uh, in any any new code so down here when you get to the bottom it says end you may get stuck in here Ah, how do I get out of here? Just hit Q. And if it's still here and it has the colon, just hit Q one more time. So Q is for quit. Okay, so we're going to do a git add. We'll just add all these files. A little GST, again, that's a shortcut for git status. If you don't have oh my ZSH, then you're not gonna get that. So just know when I type GST, type git status. Okay, so everything's been added. Git commit dash M and the commit message will be uh, add post routes okay cool so basically i'm leaving no daemon running over here shouldn't even have to fool with it ever and then over here if i need to run any uh commands then i can just do that with that terminal tab okay so post js is done we can actually copy all this code right because why type it all over again when it's going to be the restful routes all over again for reviews very similar we're just going to change a couple things so we are going to go to routes create a new file and we'll call it reviews make sure it's plural reviews.js route files are always plural model files are always singular so if we have a review model it's review js in the models directory and if we have a reviews routes file it's reviews.js in the routes file same thing for middleware or for controllers. It's going to be controllers reviews.js, controllers post.js. Okay, so I'm going to paste all this in here. And first thing I want to do is change anywhere where there's the word post. So I'm going to select it and do a command control G. If you don't have command control G, uh, if you're not on Mac and you're not using Sublime, then you can use uh, command ddd or control ddd uh, or I think it's control control alt d or control shift d something like that on PC you'll have to look up the sublime three shortcut codes um, in any event what we want to do right now is very quickly select anywhere where the word post is and just replace it with the word review right okay so the difference here is the way that we're going to access reviews because reviews belong specifically to a post. So if we go into app.js and we go ahead and below the posts, we just add another line and we call this reviews. And so we have const reviews is equal to require routes reviews. And we can tab this stuff out and make it line up and be all pretty. And basically, now that we have the reviews, we need to mount them, right? So we need to mount the routes and right here is where we're doing that. And again, we'll just change this to review, reviews. So I typed in review because I left the S in there. And the difference is it's going to be slash posts, slash ID, slash reviews, posts, ID, reviews, so that we have access to the ID of the post that the review belongs to. So if we save that and we go over to reviews, that's all dandy. Now forward slash is going to actually be slash post slash ID reviews, right? So it's not just forward slash reviews, it's post ID reviews. And this isn't going to be uh, slash reviews slash new, it's going to be slash post ID reviews new. And then same thing for post ID reviews on the post route post ID reviews can't use ID. We can't use ID because post is using the ID. So we have to call this review underscore ID. And now this ID right here has to be changed to review underscore ID. And let's go ahead and copy that one and anywhere else where we have an ID 
below where we've already been editing. Let's go ahead and change that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plug that in. Those are all review ID. Let's go back up here and copy this post ID. And we are going to make sure that we put it down here on all these. And then behind that one, and that one, and that one. So let's review, make sure we have it all in place. So the reviews index is slash post slash ID slash reviews. So it just goes to forward slash the post ID is taken care of. The post ID reviews part is taken care of in the app.js file right here. And so that's all good. Uh, we're just saying slash reviews. In fact, we're going to replace that with post ID reviews. And we can say get, um, or we can say index, and then we can say new on this one. Okay, question. Do we want to have a, an entirely separate new form for the review, or do we want a user to be able to just immediately type the review on the post itself, like on the bottom of the post? I think the latter is more common in real world development, so we're going to do that right off the bat. So we don't even need this route because we don't need to go anywhere to see a new form. We just go to the post show page, and the new form for the review will be there. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Again, as soon as we get to it in the code, I'm going to make it very clear what we're doing so you won't have to worry about like, oh, when is he doing that? How is he doing that? Okay, so we're going to get rid of this one. We do need to have a way to post from the form on the post show page to create a new review. So we must leave this route right here. And then if we want to see the review, it's going to be with a list of other reviews on the show page as well. So we don't need a show page for the review. And when I say show page, there's two show pages, so it could be confusing. So let me reiterate. The reviews will be visible on the show page for the post that they belong to, okay? And so will the form for creating a new review. It will all make sense when we start writing the view code, which we'll be doing in a couple of lectures. Okay, so edit. Do we wanna be able to edit them uh, on their own page? Let's leave that for now just to keep it simple. Um, if we want to, we can get a little fancy later and come back and refactor it to where you can edit everything in place. But let's just leave it there uh, like it is for now. Okay, so put is definitely gonna need to be there and delete's gonna be, need to be there so that we can update and delete these reviews as needed, either as an administrator or as the person who created the review originally. So we're gonna go ahead and save all this there's one thing that's really important, and it's up inside of the express router. We are missing a uh, configuration object. So we pass in this empty object here, and then we pass in merge params, that's camel case, all one word, and then true. And what this allows us to do is pull the ID from here with this app.use. So we have access to the post ID, that way when we're over here, if we wanna look up the post, we can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, save that. All my files are saved. Let's go back over to Postman and make some requests. So I'm gonna create a new Postman tab and I'll go to localhost and we have posts and we'll do one, two, three for the ID. It's just some fake ID, it's totally fine. And then we'll go to slash reviews. So we'll send it. Couldn't get any response, no. Okay, so that should have brought up our reviews index, right? Which is right here. And let's just make sure that our server is running. It crashed. And it's saying that on reviews, JS line 10, router.review is not a function. And I think it's because it doesn't like that we passed in merge params true. Let's go ahead and take that out and save and see if that's causing our problem. No, that's not it. This is interesting. So is there a typo somewhere that is causing it to not recognize the router is a question. Oh, router.review is not a function, duh. This is the create, so it's router.post, okay? Stupid mistake, happens all the time. Uh, this is, I would say this is our official first bug that we ran into. So. Uh, nice, we got that one solved really quick. 
and let's go over to Postman again and resend that request. Boom, index for post ID reviews, awesome. Okay, and so let's do another one. So reviews, the next one is going to be sending a post request to the same route and it says create reviews and it really should say create post reviews so let's send it again cool create post ID reviews and now we want to do a get request and see if we can do uh, we'll say one two three for the ID of the review slash edit we'll send it and there it is edit post ID reviews review edit so that's our edit route working as expected can move this over so we can see it a little bit better cool and now we want to do a put request right that's the next one for review ID so we'll get rid of edit here send the request and there it is update post ID reviews review ID and we need a delete as the final one we can leave the same URL send it and there it is for delete okay so everything is set up for our review routes and in the next video we are going to let's see here probably going to start messing around with the user routes and those static routes so uh, remember I uh, shouldn't have ended that leave that running in the other tab I had open right that was the whole point make sure that you check your git status you can see we modified app.js that's where we did the app.use and we brought in the reviews uh, routes and then we create the routes in their own file in the routes folder. So we'll get add that. Check the status again. There it is. They're both added. Git commit dash m and we're going to say add review routes. Okay, that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.